What is going on guys? Welcome to your 31st JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about a couple new methods. The first method I want to talk about is something called the join method. Now what the join method does is it takes an array and converts it to a string. So this method is really useful whenever you have an array and you want to output all the elements to the user. So this is the main method that people use whenever they're converting it to a string so again let's go ahead and take a look at it so let's go ahead and create an array of my favorite movies and just set equal to new array and I'm gonna go ahead and avatar that was a pretty good movie even though I'm spelling it wrong and let's see good will hunting one of my faves and let's see vanilla sky kinda quirky but hey I liked it and um, let's add one more fight wow definitely type that wrong fight club just like that so now let's see how many movies I have one two three four so I have four elements in the array so if you're saying alright what's an easy way where we can convert this to a string well what we can do is go ahead and make a regular variable and just go ahead and name it string one so we're gonna make a string variable so in order to do this here's what we need to do go ahead and write the name of your array movies and then go ahead using a dot separator we're gonna call the method join now it doesn't take any parameters and what it does is it's gonna take every element in your array separate it with a comma and convert it to a string so now that string is stored in the variable string one so now whenever we want to document write this on the screen we just have to write string one and now let's go ahead and save this and see what we get avatar goodwill hunting vanilla sky and fight club and as i told you it doesn't take any parameters and whenever it doesn't take any parameters by default it says separates your list with a comma we're saying all right what if i want to separate it with something other than a comma like a hyphen or something like that well it doesn't take any parameters by default but you can pass in a parameter if you want it's optional if you do pass in a parameter then it's gonna exchange that comma for something else so for example if we use a hyphen instead of nothing what it does is it changes all those commas to hyphens so check it out now you can have a customized string depending on well first you need to use that join method and it actually depends on what parameter you pass it in and one thing you may have noticed make sure you pass your parameters in in between quotation marks because you're passing it in as a string technically so just want to throw that out there so now we know how to convert an array to a string pretty cool definitely useful but another method that I want to teach you guys about is called the pop method pop and what this does is it removes the last element from an array so for example I have four elements in here and the index is 0 1 2 3 so let's go ahead and just write out like document dot write let's go ahead and write the last element just to verify that it is indeed there and that would be movies index 3 and let's go ahead and add a break because we're going to be needing it later on so now what should appear is fight club it's the third index which is the fourth element so zero one two three so fight club as we just saw on the screen is the last element in the array so now if we call this pop method and in order to do that just go ahead and write the name of the array object movies and add pop now pop doesn't take any parameters but what it does do is it's gonna it's pretty much going to alter your array where it's still called movies but now instead of having four elements it only has three so now your movies array consists of avatar goodwill hunting and vanilla sky so now we're saying all right what happens if we try to document dot write the element out now which is movies three well movies three doesn't even exist anymore since it only has zero one two so it's gonna give you an undefined so check it out at beginning we made an array called movies it had four elements whenever we printed out the last element it gave us fight club 
appropriate. And then we altered the array. We said, all right, for this movies array, call the method pop. And what this pop did is it took the last element and it popped it off. So now our array only had three elements, 0, 1, and 2. So whenever we try to print out the fourth element, it said undefined. So that is what the pop method does. It pretty much removes the last element from the array. And what we can do here is call it again, and then it would only have two in it. So again, we can call it as many times as we want. Um, you know, it's pretty much simple, self-explanatory. So now that you saw it, um, you can begin moving on to my next tutorial. So remember, join converts an array to a string, and pop removes the last element from the array. So as long as you understand those concepts, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next video.